Coach, just kind of talk about the uh, the ability to kind of honor your seniors that way. You go out with a win after what's been you know a, a tough few weeks, but you're able to get uh, one in their last home game. Yeah, I mean, just couldn't be happier about that. Obviously, you roll the dice when you have the the ceremony after the game, and but regardless, I think they were, you know, that group is worthy of a lot of uh, time and consideration and. And doing that thing really well. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to do that and the fans to stick around. And six, and then a manager and, and the practice guys that won't be here. I mean, there's just a lot of people that have helped us build this program and um, certainly wanted to do that in a great way. So uh, it felt it feels good to have a win and play as well as we did and, and to really step up and, and make some big shots today. Just uh, from the on-the-court action, uh, AT maybe wasn't at her best on Friday, but she was certainly at her best tonight, uh, career high, 24 points, 10 of 14. It just seemed like she had a rhythm early, and then you know it didn't matter what they do, they weren't going to stop her. Yeah, I mean, just an unbelievable game by her, and I thought L.A. was right behind her in that. Just the shot making, what exactly what we needed against Oregon. That's the way they play that, that you know, some of the drop coverage that they have. Oregon State did the same thing and, and just didn't make shots. So... Um, you know, it feels good. I think AT's been on the verge. She's had good practices. She's getting a little bit more into a routine of practicing. Um, this looks like the old AT and or maybe the improved AT, but the healthy. I think that's the point. She's healthy and she's getting her legs back under her. So really great floor game. And um, I think the only turnover is probably my fault if she threw that or, you know, a teammate that messed up. So uh, really a, a tremendous game by her. Do you kind of see it as maybe uh, fitting or poetic in a way that on the day you do honor your seniors, two of the, you know, kind of the next generation per se, those are the two to kind of lead you, you know, kind of the, the returners you'll have and who you probably expect to be kind of the, the top two scorers going forward? Yeah, love that. I mean, obviously when you lose such a class and, and people that have really had their names in the record book, you assume that you're going to have a drop off. And and I, I have no idea how we will replace some of these bodies and and, and – you know, playmaking that some of the ones that we have, Bella and, and you know, obviously Charlize, we're having to figure it out right now. But uh, it was just like, yo, we've missed yo this year, not having her. So um, this is a – this, but it's a great sign that our backcourt, our guard game is, is really solid. Obviously Tara's just a tremendous player. You know, our young post players are going to be super – and we've got to fill in some pieces around them. You know, Jenna and, and Kira are just solid for us and I think can get a lot better. Uh, so we have the makings of a, a really solid program that's not going to fall off too much. Well, the game started in a little bit of an interesting way, but then, of course, quieted, quieted down in terms of making shots and not making as many mistakes. How did you characterize the start of the game and how your team responded? I thought we got some really good shots early. And, uh, again, they're 6-8, they're 6-8. Six, six or six seven and six four in the back line of that zone so we've not seen that and they morph and it's kind of match up ish and so you know you 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 can get away with probably running your man stuff but you can also play them zone it just takes a minute I think to to figure out how they're going to rotate and and getting the right people in the right spots on the floor and I thought AT really did a great job of getting herself into that middle of that zone and, and, and being able to make some plays. And I just thought we got better and better as we went along. So did they. I mean, they're really talented and they're big, and we couldn't really guard them in the second half much either. So it was really important that we made shots. Uh, we've talked about like the leadership role of, of, of point guard AT before. How would you characterize her leadership today? Yeah, it's exactly what we need from her. Again, she's when she's not at her best – whether, again, I think the one knock I have on AT and I tell her all the time is she's not a high energy, bouncy type point guard, you know, just, um, and you know it when you have someone like that. And she's a little bit of a chill, it's her personality, but you have to, you have to lead and you have to, and people have to see your energy level and then they, and the ball obviously has more energy when the point guard has more energy and everybody plays and, and enters offense better and everybody plays at a better pace. I thought she was that tonight. Uh, she was our primary ball handler most of the night. L.A. did some a little bit. But, again, just just growth from A.T. and, and, and just shows you how good she is. There really wasn't anything they could do. Four or five from three was amazing. Uh, she really made them pay for how they guarded her. 
And for the senior ceremony, you get to walk through, hug every family member and every senior. What was that? What did that moment feel like for you? I, I this is the first time that I didn't just be a crybag the entire time. Um, had some moments before the game. We always talk about the, the the seniors before the game, and so I think that's that's the hardest. And then seeing some family members that you've known, like we were talking to the Ledger Walkers last night, and it's like nine years worth, eight years worth we've known and been around them and traveled to see them and and clearly know that family really well. So it's and 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 then Bella and the growth that she's done and her family that was here and and um, some of these people we've just it feels like. You know, they're part of our family, my own family, and I just feel as close to them as, as anybody. So uh, just – just and and I just love the fact that, you know, people don't know Ekin very well, but Ekin chose us the same way that Charlize did back when all we had was a vision. You know, B leaves a program that she's a legend at and, and has record book probably memories and is the face of a program and chooses a place where she has to find a fit – and she has to fit in around other really great players. And, you know, it's just fun to see the people, you know, play at a high level and, and, and try to find success and get this group still achieving and wanting to achieve higher, higher marks. So proud of, of the seniors, proud of – thought Jess's minutes were really good. I mean, this was a really great uh, moment to, to go out on, and, and our seniors really played a, a super game for us that were on the court. Coach, that run in the third quarter was probably some of the best offense we've seen from you guys since Charlize went down. Um, I know some of those points were in transition, but the passing was pretty exceptional during that run. Was that something you went over in the scout, um, getting the ball quickly down into the paint in transition, or how did you kind of see that work out in the third quarter? Right. It was part of just – it's not really our nature. Again, that kind of comes down to – LA's not a true point guard, probably will be by the time she finishes, and AT's not, like I said, doesn't have that motor that's just get up the floor really fast. So it was a real intentional that we – just in you, when you watch film of other teams, you can see a difference. Like Utah does a great job, their little point guard, and it comes up the floor just a million miles an hour, and they flattened out that zone and had the zone in the wrong spots people were in the wrong spots and then they would get an easy shot so we really wanted to run we thought our uh, bella could outrun their bigs um and we finally got loose a little bit in the in the third quarter and did a little bit better job of that so and that's even make or miss i mean we need to do a better job of of getting that ball up and and uh, using some of our athleticism that we do have and you mentioned Yo there a little bit. How has her rehab been? Do you think she'll be able to go play overseas, or yeah. is her career kind of over at this point? I think Yo really has a chance to play. I think she's on the verge of, of starting to pick it back up. And, um, and talk about the most crybag. She was – by far she gets the award for the tears that came. But, um, again, so many great things that she's added to this program. And, I mean, she is such a – kind of call her like a bridge builder with the classes and being kind to people and um, and just loves this place and is loyal to this place so much. So um, I hate that, you know, she doesn't get to play this year in this situation. I think we really missed her overall, but uh, I'm happy and, and glad that she's having a chance to, to maybe get healthy. And, yes, she absolutely, I think, wants to give it a shot to play professional. I want to ask about the, your relationship with the Ledger Walker family. You said eight, nine years. And how important is it, both with Crystal and Charlize and the whole family, to maintain that relationship? And how do you go about kind of respecting and honoring that, that long relationship? Well, I mean, it, it really is true. Like, like I, I, we think of them as, you know, you know I, I think we all have this just a real friendship and, and – and trust that's been built over a lot of time. Um, you know, we talk about that a lot in recruiting. We don't. We want to prove ourselves over time. Are we trustworthy? Are we? Are we the kinds of people that will make your daughter better? Are we the kinds of people that will put you in a good environment and be around great people? Uh, are we true to what we say we are about? And they're just. They've stuck around and they've seen it. And I think they've obviously had two children play for us and through hardship and tough times and 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 not always the best thing for them individually but they understand that's that's what being family and and staying loyal and and 
and staying true to you know your commitment and who you are as a person and that family is that to its very core they're just down home good kind loving tough leanne walker is a tough competitor and she t put that in her children and and um you know again they, they stepped foot on this campus and we got better crystal and, and charlise and i don't know of anyone that's impacted winning like charlise has at, uh, to a program that hadn't consistently won so uh that's a reflection of that family and clearly we're proud to have been a part of their their journey um and we'll be forever a part of their journey uh, i don't think we're gonna you know we're not gonna they're not going to forget us, and we're not going to forget them. Crystal, just uh, too cool to, to come to this one? Yeah, she's a little bit uh, – She's she's got some things going on and couldn't get here, uh, but she's she's got big things going on, so we're happy about that and, and thrilled. And, and um, But she's going to continue to play as well. So uh, that family is going to be playing professional basketball for a long time. And uh, I assume no official decisions yet with, with Charlie, Shio, and Jess on coming back, not coming back, just still kind of making those decisions uh, with their families and so on? I think so. I mean, I think, you know, so much was – I think this was such a moment of clarity for all of them. Jess has had so many injuries and has really played in pain. Same with Yo, played in pain. So it's, it's too much mentally to think about. And, and they were done with school, and they have this set up that this is going to be my senior year, and then all of a sudden with Charlize, you know, there's some decisions. That That's the one. And, and Yo is probably a little bit up in the air, too, in the sense of, you know, what do you want to do? Where are you going to go? How do I feel? So uh, Jess, I feel like, is probably a pretty much a done deal. And, gosh, if we could get Bella back, I think she'd come back, too. But I don't think they'll let us. I think she's played as much as she can. But – uh, again, that we're, we've tried to get as much information to um, Charlize and her family, and and so that she knows the picture completely, and and um, and then it's just she's going to take a little time to figure it out. Let's go, Let's go. go Kooks.